you were right. We must have picked up some Terratros when we flew through the asteroid belt. What do you think? Um, Ratchet? Oh, sorry. Hmm, I believe we simply need to recouple the ion converter. All right, let's get to it. Ratchet and Clank are back in an all-new adventure. Nexus marks a return to the original style of the celebrated series by developer Insomniac Games, making any fan happy with the enormous array of guns and charmful humour. Oh, and crates. Gotta love the crates. Ah, oh, great. Who put these here? Nexus is a shorter, enhanced epilogue to the acclaimed Ratchet & Clank Future series, featuring Ratchet & Clank Future Tools of Destruction, Quest for Beauty, and a cracking time. When playing, it will remind fans why they fell in love with the Ratchet universe. Thanks, pal. Incoming holocom from Apogee. The gameplay of Nexus is vast and enjoyable. Giving an array of features both original and new, Nexus is an intense story-driven adventure brought to reality by its platforming gameplay that is highlighted by its solid control and mechanics. Longtime fans of the Ratchet & Clank series will enjoy the classic features such as outrageously upgraded guns, charmful and irreverent humour. And we'll also be surprised to see a darker storyline, spookier environments, and one of Ratchet's most sinister foes yet. The story of Nexus centers on the two main antagonists, Vendra. Oh, you made it. Come on in. And Nefton. I had to bribe elected officials for the ship's location, coordinate a galaxy-wide crime wave. We start off on board a prison ship, where both Ratchet and Clank are escorting the captured Vendra with the help of Warbot twins, Kronk and Zephyr. Vendra escapes from the ship with the help of her brother, Nefton. After her escape, she becomes hell-bent on creating a rift between Ratchet's dimension and the Nether. Why? So she can release Mr. I from the Netherworld. Among the many new features of Nexus is the ability to travel and explore the different planets within the game. The game's developer, Insomniac, has truly taken full advantage of the graphical capabilities of the PS3. This has given us an array of vibrant, lush, bright and intensive worlds to delve into and become immersed within. A great way to get around and have fun while in space is via zero gravity. And when it comes to the Nexus, it spares no expense. Zero-G is a unique way to operate and manoeuvre around your environment during space-based missions. The ability to clamp yourself onto magnetic surfaces using Ratchet's magnetic boots offers a fun and futuristic way to feel involved within the setting. However, it's not just in space that Ratchet can use these wonderful pair of boots. On world, during certain scenarios, your gravity boots will come in great use. Another new feature that makes its way into the Ratchet universe within Nexus is the jetpack. A quick and easy way for you to maneuver around the map in an effective way. The only downside is the jetpack is not accessible all the time and can only be used throughout certain levels. The jetpack is obtainable by completing the Bronze Cup in the Thugs for Less Destructibalooza, which brings us onto the arena mode with a hefty name to it. Are you an unemployed reprobate, and all there to well? They come on down to the Thugs for Less Destructible Loser and earn a place amongst our esteemed enforcers. A year ago, I was robbing old ladies for chump change. Now, I'm a functional member of a dysfunctional subgroup. The Destructible Loser is effectively a series of challenges to complete in order to progress and win. There are four modes to the arena, the first being an initiation. Then from there, you must use yours and Ratchet's skills, plus the many insane guns to your name, in order to win bronze, silver, and gold cup. I will say this now, 
the arena mode is an incredibly fun and great way to test out your new and incredible arsenal, but it comes as a challenge as well. So be prepared to put some time in to become the Destructible Loser champion and join Dogs for Less. This also offers to the great replayability that the game has to offer. Nexus offers a wide range of challenges that become available to you once you have completed your first sitting, making your second be even more enjoyable than your first. While being able to retain your weapons purchased first time around, Challenge Mode adds a modifier to the bolts you earn, greatly increasing how many you can collect if you're able to take out an enemy while staying unharmed. And if you're up for the challenge, there are 40 available skill points rewarded for completing specific challenges, like hitting enemies certain times while clearing levels, or using a particular weapon, all of which can be used to unlock assorted cheats in the extras menu. The sound design of Nexus is as stunning as its graphics, from its wonderfully assorted and talented voice cast to its music and sound effects, the sound design will draw you into the immersion of the Ratchet universe and the unfolding story ahead. James Arnold Taylor reprises his role as Ratchet alongside David Kay as Clank, both bringing a brilliant and timely performance that is recognisable to any fan of the series. Are you okay? I keep waiting to hear Krunk snoring or Zephyr yell at him for not taping his soap opera. When the Nethers are banished back to their dimension, the Progs will answer for their crime. Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus is an incredibly fun game to current fans of the series and to new players alike, with its gorgeous graphics, incredible sound design, immersive story and charmful humour. Nexus really puts itself up there as a fun and enjoyable game. Even though the game is in total 6 hours long, the replayability makes up for it by getting you immersed in the story and the universe again and again. I can give Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus a solid 5 out of 5. Nexus is available via disc or on the PSN store. <laughs>